So you wake up in the morning feeling like shit. Your bike's all packed up because you did it about three o'clock in the morning. And you drag your ass to the airport, you're going away. And they turn around to your show and go, is that golf clubs in the bag, sir? Look at me, do I look like a fucking golfer? They quickly establish that they're not golf clubs. And then they start to try and charge me for extra stuff, like extra kilos and stuff. Oh, it's a bike, and I'm like, I actually paid for a bike. And everything gets mixed up and complicated. But anyway, now we're here. Fuck all that. I'm gonna put my bike together. Right now, mate. Tall bag. Gotta love the van shoes. These are my riding shoes. So as you can see, I brought the pump along because we all need a pump. And every time you turn up at an event, no one's got one. So you run around like a dickhead. One pump. I cable tie all my stuff together. I cable tie my whole boat together in the bag. Everything is cable tied. So I need the tool bag. Find myself some snip snips. And then, one wheel. Always wrap your forks up in a pair of fucking sexy skinny jeans because it keeps your forks looking fucking sexy. Ooh, naked. Total GS forks. So right, they're built for that. GS bars. New Timo knee pads, got to look after the knees. Look how wobbly this is. Yeah. And then you pull out your beautiful new paint job, which no matter what you did about padding, all the padding in the world was not gonna stop it getting smashed to death by people throwing it around on the plane. Look at that. Cheers. So this is how I keep my headset together. I just bang some cable ties straight through the uh, head tube there, and the, even the top bearing stays in there as well. Um, that works for me. Uh, you can pull it out, you can pull it all on your forks and do your top cap up to save it, but it's not gonna get damaged in there, or the bearings might fall apart if they're on the forks, I don't know. But that's how I do it. Cable ties everywhere because drift car. First thing I'd do, Put the forks in. And then your bike's standing up, it's got a bit of stability. Make sure you get all your washers and stuff around the right way. You don't want that grit shit. Yeah, mate. And then, get your handlebars. And again, Okay, we're talking majority of playing that, but none of you even run brakes these days because you think it's like cool thing to do or some shit. But um, I can afford brakes, so I run them. Right. Jar plate, washer, stem. Then the top cap. The top cap goes in. Check that shit out. Now, before tightening up your stem, you might want to put the front wheel on because then you can make sure the bars are all central and stuff. But don't forget to tighten up the stem, otherwise, you know what I mean? Pull off on. So now we put the front wheel on. Where is the front wheel? Over there. Okay. Uh, this is a. Uh, this is simple for me. Yeah, I got skills. What are you gonna do about it? So after you've uh, placed the wheel in with skills, make sure you do the wheel up nice and tight, because. You know what for now. Best thing to do is find something for leverage. Yeah, a big long bar or something, like like a telegraph pole or a lamp post or something. Or I don't know, maybe even this this row coat. This row coat will do. 
just a nice bit of leverage to make sure you can like you know get a bit of length from that thing see that? that's proper tight right moving on to the pedals so what i've got here is some brand new colony pedals with gold axles um still repping some mirror love and you've got to put these on like this uh, so that was a nice clean shot they landed perfectly in place and now you can just use an allen key in the back of them and uh do it the right way not the wrong way and then, yeah just buzz them up like that and i don't tend to do these very tight because they you know they never just they just never come undone you know that pedal when it gets stuck just a pain in the ass so but, yeah Allen key in the back because Allen key says snap on living the dream. <laughs> oh my god, what's going on? Right, so again, do these nice and tight. That'll do it. Right, what's next? Align the bars with the forks because as you can see after all the stunts that I've just been doing my my bars and forks if you look down in it See that so keep that straight Tighten it up And the last step is obviously making sure this stem is done up really tight because you do not want your stem ever coming off or coming loose because it will probably create the most horrendous jackknife you've ever had in your life and can I just mention one other thing if you ever want to take this top cap out undo these bolts to take it out do not put it in and then undo it because you just kill the threads or you'll round off this allen key bolt so make sure the stems loose when you tighten up the top cap nice and tight there's some um, the bolts that are in here are TLC by the way the rest of the bike's pretty much tight Right, that's it. Bikes all together. We've made it to Montpellier, France. Now we're about to kick it at face, mate. Oh. 